my folks got defensive lineman Akeem Mesidor here. Akeem, when you were uh, considering transferring back in the spring, what gave Miami the edge and who were your other finalists? What gave Miami the edge was having um, a great staff really that can develop me to the player that I want to become. Yeah, we have Jason Taylor, uh, Hall of Fame NFL player. We got Coach um, Wright, who's a great coach as well, and Coach Joe also. So um, that's what really gave him the edge. And also the energy on the field and practice. And just it's really a family atmosphere. And also Coach Cristobal talking to my family. My mom really loved them. So that, that's what gave him the edge. Who finished second for you in the competition it for you? Probably Penn State. Tell me about the, the challenge uh, of the defensive line. Frank Ward Jr. What kind of problems was he facing? Well, obviously, um, his dad's a legend who's been here, so he's probably he's probably gonna play with a chip on his shoulder when he comes out here. But uh, Coach Steele is gonna game plan around him, and we're just gonna we're planning to limit his yards. So. We, we talk about you gotta contain him to inside, right? Yeah, definitely. Is that, yeah. is that the biggest thing, and how, how do you do that? Um, we contain him by really just having contain on the edge. I mean, they got big old linemen; they're gonna try to push up off the ball, but um, we got a really good D linemen as well, so. It's going to be a competition. I'm excited. What is it about the Wildcat? Because they use him in the Wildcat. When you know the guy ain't going to throw it, why is it still hard? Is it hard to defend or is it not hard to defend? It's not the game plan that's the hardest part. It would be the physicality. You know it's coming, but um, it's still it's still pound for pound. Football. Can you, how, how good did it make you feel that, like Mario said more than once, that you were the best player in defense? I guess you got the defensive game ball or whatever. How, how nice was that? And... Um, it just shows me that I need to be, I need to become more of a leader on this defense. Um, it's it's great that he said those kind of words about me, but I always got work to do, and he's always gonna push me so I can reach my full potential. How good did it make you feel when you were up there for the presser? You know, after the game, yeah. when Gail called you up, you looked a little emotional almost. Yeah, it felt good. It felt good to be recognized as one of the leaders on this defense. Come always is soft. Is this your demeanor, or, or we get a different guy? When you you get on the field, Different guy when I'm on the field. Off the field, I get I'm a little soft spoken, <laughs> shy a little bit. But uh, on the field, you gotta flip the switch and become a different guy. Was there any Hurricanes defensive lineman you liked watching in the NFL growing up? Any you've developed a relationship with at all? Actually, when I was younger, I didn't watch uh, I didn't watch much much football. I just played it because I loved the game. I actually started studying football once I got to to college, really. I, I know that, uh, for example, uh, Calais Campbell developed a relationship with Jalen Phillips uh, and with Rousseau. Any of the former Canes defensive linemen you've had a chance to talk to over yeah. the last few months? Actually, during um, during the camps that we hosted, I think it was a legend camp, I got to speak to uh, uh, Greg and Jalen just for a brief moment. But they're cool guys. We know West Virginia used the obviously a lot of defensive end as a freshman, more tackle and nose last year. Uh, Kevin and the staff here, Charlie Strong, a lot of end, but moving inside some on passing downs. Is that the ideal way to use you? Do you think the way that this staff is? I think it is. Um, I love being on the outside. I also love being on the inside. But just, uh, I think they're just putting me in the best situation for me to succeed on the defense. So, uh, is there one thing I was going to ask? Same thing that you one place you feel better at, or I feel I feel more comfortable at three technique on passers down. I feel like that's where I'm most effective uh -huh. in the passing game. Mario said yesterday, he's like, you know, the best thing, you know, after Saturday's game is that you still think you can play better and do better. What do you think you can do better? I think I can have better leverage, better better takeoff, hand placement, um, just a bunch of things. I write I write, I write things down after every game that I, that, I work, that I need to work on, that I need to improve on. Really, when I watch film, I don't really focus on my good plays. I really focus on my bad plays. And even if I'm looking at my good plays, I'm sorry about that. Even when I'm looking at my good plays, I'll still try to find and pick point things that I didn't do, that I could have done better on that good play. So what'd you write down on Saturday? Hand placement, leverage, get off, footwork, and uh, and contain, because we lost a lot of contain last last week. Mario also said you had heavy hands. What, what exercise are you doing in the gym to make your hands different? Just strike the pad every day. Um, as, a, as, as a kid growing up, when I started, when I first started playing D-lineman, I wasn't the biggest guy, so um, my coach always told me, my coach back home always told me I had to be physical. So I just, he, when we, after practice, I would just punch the pad every day.
What, what did you think about playing at uh, Hard Rock? That was your first time at Hard Rock? That was my first experience. What did what, what, you think? It was great. Uh, I loved it. I thought it was going to be hotter, because, but um, I didn't know that uh, there was shade up top, like the roof. Uh -huh. I wasn't expecting that, but it felt good. It's Wait till Saturday noon. Yeah. The other team doesn't get that. They don't get that. Yeah. 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 So we got a little edge on them. Oh, yeah. Couple more for Akeem. No? All right. Thanks. 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 Three amazing kick return and kickoff returns. What was that like for you? The feeling? The feeling? Um, it was great. Uh, I didn't, we planned on like taking a kick return back. But like I didn't know that I was gonna be able to take three like that. <laughs> Did you think that one was a touchdown before they called it back? Before they called it back, most definitely thought it was a touchdown, and I was really excited. You had a great block, right, on one of those for uh, Xavier? But no, Xavier had a great block for me. I couldn't. That's have, what I mean. I yeah, meant Xavier. I couldn't have really got to where I really couldn't got the yards I've gotten without Xavier or the kickoff team by itself. The other thing I want to issue is uh, Mario said something about for a kick returner, the second you get that ball, if you stutter, step, whatever. You're done. Yeah. What what goes through your mind? What's the most important thing in, in returning a kick? Um, the most important thing is like what he said. You can't once you catch the ball, you gotta run. You can't stop your feet because um, they're coming full speed to take your head off. So yeah, you gotta get a head stop before they do. On the offensive side of things, uh, I know you didn't have a catch the other day, but uh, how much are you guys looking to maybe open up the passing game more in the next couple weeks? Uh, Coach Gat got a lot of stuff. We like practice so many plays, so like. I don't think he wanted to open up the playbook like that. So like, we're not really worried about that. We're just worried about winning, one one to know every week. So yeah. What's the biggest thing that you took personally that you know you need to work on, or that you think you did well, you know, from week one? Um, I could always get better on my routes. You know, uh, I mean, from a team standpoint, we had a great game, but we could always get better. Um. You were close with Charleston Rambo last year, I know. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, is there one guy that you really lean on, a role model? or? Uh, I wouldn't say a role model, but me and Xavier got really close. Uh -huh. um, we like we look up to each other. You know, uh, We talk all the time. We text all the time. Uh, we hold each other accountable. We got to hold each other, uh, each other to the room. Everybody in the room, we got to hold each other to, accountable to as well. And so like, as a, as a unit, me and him try to lead that. What are your impressions of Southern Miss's defense? Have you seen them? Uh, their coverage, like zone coverage team, they bail a lot. So uh, we got a lot of access and stuff. Uh, I'm not going to say too much, but, you know, we're ready for them. I'm sure they're ready for us, too. Keyshawn, you only returned one kick last year. Were you in, in um, a lot of them, but you just returned one? Or, you know, what was that situation? Um, I returned, I returned two. It was against App State. Okay, the Last stats year. say one, yeah. but, okay. But I didn't, like, the first one, I didn't, I, I wasn't supposed to take it back. <laughs> uh -huh. I was being a little bit greedy, because it was, like, my first time back there, and I just took it back. Um, um, and, then, yeah, that was, like, that was it last year. Um, and the, how important, just special teams, uh, Mario Cristobal thinks they're very important to you. What's your philosophy? Yeah, I agree. Special teams is very important. You could win and you could lose a game by special teams. So he holds... Just like offense or defense, he holds special teams accountable, and uh, we take it very serious here. You think people are going to start kicking away from you now? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like they will, but I hope not. I hope they're not scared to kick it to me. Keyshawn, talk to us about your high school card at Coach Daly. How influential was that to you? And do you still speak with him? Ah, I speak. How do you know that? How do you know? <laughs> you <Marie said. laughs> I speak to them every day. Coach Dunn sends me positive messages. Um, me and Coach Carter is like my uncle. He's like I, like my big brother, uncle. Um, he's like my role model. You know, he's been there and done it too. So is Coach Dunn. Um, they I, they kind of the reason why I'm, I'm here now. So I couldn't be here without them too. So I thank them a lot. And uh, we're real close. Anything else for Keyshawn? All right, thanks, Keyshawn. Thanks, thank Keyshawn. Have a good one, man. Thank yep. you. Thanks, Keyshawn. Is that part of your thinking? Uh, obviously, you want to do well just to do well because it's the goal every time you're out on the field. But was the hope to get more time on defense? Do you feel like you're you're worthy of it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I definitely feel like you can't take any plays off. So how you perform on special teams is going to translate on how you play on the field. And in this case, you're playing time. So you know you got to give effort in every single aspect of the game. So I just you got to go hard on special teams for sure. How have responsibilities for you changed? Obviously, going from a striker role, some learning that under Manny Diaz assistant to now linebacker work how much of a learning curve has there been for you it's actually not too major it's like the same kind of responsibilities you're like apex position and 
you're generally doing the same job through and throughout. So. What were you guys able to, to take away from? I know it was a lopsided game, but what were you able to take away from the game? Like you have to treat every opponent like they're the best. And you have to play your best football in every single game. We're not going to take any games off. Our demeanor is going in every game, trying to be 1 0 every single week. Chase, what, what, special you team unit, what special teams unit are you on? And what's your philosophy about special teams and how important? Everything. <laughs> every You're single on special everything? team. Except field goal, of course. But, okay. um, and my philosophy on that is just. Special teams is just as important as it may be even more important than the real game. So Why? you got to because it's like the change of downs and that just determines your field position, the, what your mindset is going to the next. Like you can't take any plays off because then the team is going to capitalize on that. Chase, what do you need to do now to make a move at linebacker to get yourself uh, in the rotation here as the game is um, more intense? Probably physicality. Just keep keep pressure and hammering the ball. You know, going into this game that we have now, they're they're a heavy run team. So. We're going to definitely see me on the field more this week. Speaking of that heavy run, uh, Frank Gore Jr. is kind of Mr. Everything on their offense. Uh, what are your takes watching him? Um, He's definitely a very patient back, very fast. He likes to get outside. I mean, he likes to go in the, down the middle too, but we're going to contain all that this week. We, we're definitely going in here, just going to treat him as, you know, they run wildcat a lot, and we definitely have to just stone the run all game. What's the, like, the mental preparation been like? As Coach Steele talked about yesterday with Southern Miss, it's basically three different systems in one with their offense. Yeah, it's it's not too complex. They kind of run the same general offense, but we just definitely have to just contain the run this game. Which so, linebacker spot are you focusing on? Right, right now, Sam. So as a continuation of what I asked you, so, um, so is what you need to work on pass coverage? Um, not necessarily. Just being more physical. Pretty much. Anything else for Chase? Working under Charlie Strong, linebackers coach, what's that been like? First game under your belt as well. How do you describe your relationship? Uh, we're definitely, everybody in the room is close. He's a very intense coach. He, he's very intent with what he does. And we're just, we're happy to have him here for sure. Have the linebackers group, I mean, there weren't a lot of mistakes or anything, but you know, have you guys worked on the pass coverage this week? Yeah, we're definitely cracking down on everything. You know, we really have to focus on the run this week, but of course the passing game is going to come into effect at some point. But yeah, we're definitely just cleaning up all the, the, the nicks and stuff. That's it. All right, Chase, thank you. Thank Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Of course.